Welcome to HIDAC Australia. In this video, we'll show you how to assemble a bladder style hydro pneumatic accumulator. Correct assembly will help to ensure years of trouble free operation. The first step in assembling these accumulators is to ensure that the shells are clean on the inside and the outside. We're using a sprayed lubricant here to coat the inside of the shell. The bladder itself then only needs a thin film of lubricant. We just use a spray here then from an oil can and make sure that the bladder is completely coated. We're using an assembly guide here so that as we pass the bladder through the shell, the gas stem will find its way out the hole at the other side of the accumulator. It's vital when assembling the bladder into the accumulator that it is not twisted. So the process here is that you're folding one side over the other side. Pass the entire bladder into the shell. At the other end of the accumulator then, we pull the gas stem out through the hole. Here we're lubricating the anti-extrusion ring and placing it inside the shell and preparing the fluid port assembly. Lubricating the top of the poppet valve and the stem. This then gets inserted inside the accumulator shell. The fluid port assembly is then manipulated to pass through and sit inside the anti-extrusion ring and the assembly is brought again out through the hole. The seal set is then prepared and installed. It's absolutely vital that it's not damaged at this point. We're using a round tool for this purpose. Refer to the spare parts list to ensure that you have the correct seal set. You must also ensure that the component parts are assembled in the correct direction. The fluid port assembly is pulled up by using a lock nut against a spacer. The lock nut has a chamfer on it. This is facing towards the shell. The nuts normally tighten down using a C-spanner and a hammer. As this is a production environment for us, we use a specially prepared socket. At the gas side then, we fit a lock nut around the gas stem and remove our assembly tool. We can then fit the gas valve into the stem. It's important this is torqued correctly, 0.3 to 0.5 Newton meters. And to ensure this, we use a special tool. Next, the bladder is pre-inflated using nitrogen gas. We pressurize the bladder to two bar for shipping or for storage. You can see here that the bladder is expanding, pushing the poppet valve to a closed position. We can remove the lock nut to fit the identification plate. The lock nut is then tightened up and torqued correctly. An O-ring is then fitted around the gas stem. This forms a seal against the cap. A plastic safety cap is fitted for protection. The last operation then is to fit a vent screw onto the side of the fluid port. Check the service data for the correct torque rating. Lastly, a plastic protection cap is fitted for storage and shipping. Thank you for watching this video. I trust you found it informative. If you have any questions about accumulator technology, please contact HIDAC Australia or our distributors. Thank you.